Now it is the second full day in Paris. Um, today, breakfast was much prettier because it was, um, we sat like outside. I was trying to picture it so we could really see the Eiffel Tower, like it was right there. Um, and then, uh, breakfast, there weren't any chocolate croissants out today, but that's okay because I got one yesterday and hopefully I can get one tomorrow. But uh, yesterday was super, super fun. We went on like this cruise type thing after dinner and it was so good. Like, I just felt like it was what, what like, I don't, I don't know. This is like unreal. I don't even know how to like go about it. Like in my head, the only place I had ever really traveled was I've gone to Tennessee, St. Louis, and like Florida. Florida was the only one that felt fun to me. Like, I don't know. But this is like, I'll be honest, it's not better than Florida because I have also have family there, so that like just makes the whole thing better. But I think I have an issue where every time I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna want to literally move there because I'm obsessed with Paris. I'm obsessed with it. Like, imagine how much money you could make if you got one of those little like slivers of like apartments and just rented them out and then lived in one. The sirens here sound really different. And the culture shock is crazy. The jet lag is also crazy, like, waking up this morning was hard. Waking up yesterday was actually kind of easy. Today was really difficult. Um, but yesterday our performance went well. We made this little, we made this couple dance with our music, like, it was the cutest thing. I posted it on my story and I was like, I may not speak French, but music is the universal language. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever, they were just dancing. Oh, it was so nice. Like, the performance was something genuinely, because it was outside by this garden, it was beautiful. I, like, I'll never get that experience again. I'll be honest, it was windy, so the music was moving around, so not we didn't do like the greatest, but people came up and talked to us and said, good job, like, people used our QR code to see, like, I, it went so well, I think, and I don't think I'm ever gonna get to experience that again, but today we do have another performance, it's just different, it's in a church, I believe, um, and one of my friends from last year, foreign exchange student, is going to come because she lives here in Paris, so we're gonna see her, and it's been like over a year, so that's crazy. Um, yeah, and we're gonna see the Palace of Versailles, which when we learned about the Palace of Versailles at school, like I just remember that topic, and I just remember thinking, I actually enjoy this. Um, so that's gonna be amazing. Tomorrow's the day I'm the most excited for. It's the last full day, and we're gonna go to the Mont tomorrow. I don't know how to say it. Okay, it's this art place. I'm gonna wear that dress back there, and we're gonna go to a fancy dinner, and we get free time. So, I'm so excited. Anyways, yes, I need to finish getting ready, but I will, I'll show you my outfit. Today, I'm wearing this dress. It's long, with sandals. It's supposed to be strapless, but I put the straps on just because I'll be much more comfy. And then I also just curled my hair, but I have to like brush my fingers through it. Oh yeah, also the dress has this little like open thing in the back. Which I like because it's like appropriate, but I still have a little bit of like style, I don't know. But yeah, second full day. And I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit again. But yeah, I'm having such a good time.